Much. First of all, I want to thank uh, um, the uh, Creative Museum Project for this kind invitation, and uh, I hope to, to be able to give a presentation which can be useful for the community in the field of the topic of the project. But then I would ask to speak in Italian, considering that most of the audiences are Italian. I, I prefer to speak in Italian. Anyway, I have um, slides. In, in English. Um, so, uh, così, um, innanzitutto mi presento. Uh, my name is Maria Teresa Natale. I'm the technical coordinator of a European project whose name is Athena Plus. It is a project coordinated by the Central Institute for the Single Library Catalog under the Italian Ministry for Cultural Assets, Heritage and Activities that has been dealing with the coordination and organization of digitization in, of a, a cultural heritage. Uh, it, being the project coordinator, we coordinate a consortium of 41 partners from 20 different EU countries. And this project is part of a Europeana um, framework. You know what it is? Um, do you know what Europeana is? Or anyway, by the way, uh, in addition to this project, we provide the three million data um, to the European portal coming from different cultural institutes a library, museums, archives. In addition to that, we also develop a platform, a multilingual platform, um, to share um, information and tools for use and reuse of uh, Italian cultural heritage. And as far as this issue is concerned, we are going to Uh, I'm going to make my presentation. Arrivati eh, alla fine del progetto, abbiamo, eh, abbiamo realizzato. Are almost at the end of the project. We have developed various types of tools and we really hope that they can be sustainable and be used again and again in the future. So, here um, on this screen, you can read about a summary of the various projects that I would like to cover and share with you. This is uh, the Movio tool for the implementation of uh, virtual exhibitions and that has been uh, uh, made, developed by an Italian company which is called Meta from Tuscany and then two tools uh, developed by a by Packet, a Belgian partner, who has developed a tool for a sort of treasury hunts throughout the city in cooperation with cultural institutions, which is called the City Quest, the Treasury Quest, and then School Trip, which is actually to make sure that pupils, students, with their teachers, whenever they organize trips uh, in advance, so they can uh, sort of uh, um, draft uh, uh, travel guides uh, rather than uh, being guided by a travel agency so that they can uh, prepare the trip and uh, uh, be active uh, before, during and after the trip itself. And then very um, quickly, this is a system to share m m uh, Europeana data on a European platform that might have different types of applications. And this kind of uh, tool has been uh, developed by a Slovenian uh, partner, uh, e IPHS, and finally, Urban Explore app that has been developed by a French association uh, whose name is Dedal, which is very creative and uh, groundbreaking. Let's start with Movio. I don't know whether you have already heard about it. It is a project that was uh, developed thanks to an Italian funding by Telecom Italia in uh, 2011, and since it was very successful, um, it uh, became sustainable with a further development within the framework of Athena Plus project. Movio is a dedicated tool whose target is uh, end users, but it is addressed to all the museum curators or uh, any exhibition makers 
within other cultural associations, uh, archives or uh, um, libraries, uh, public or private, local, uh, or other types of institutions that would like to organize a digital exhibition. It is something unprecedented and unique. Uh, it might be not perfect, but undoubtedly so. It is a very useful and uh, groundbreaking tool. Uh, in addition to uh, making a digital exhibition, the system automatically generates apps and the code for applications that can be posted on uh, the Android and Apple stores. Another thing to be said is that this tool is based on guidelines that are uh, available, guidelines for the um, creation of digital exhibitions created by the Ministry uh, under Indicate project, directly downloadable online, that have been uh, made, uh, that uh, represent the first attempt to put together gui and draft guidelines as well as a toolbox, a toolkit for those who, would, who wanted to uh, try and create and develop digital exhibitions very quickly. Um, this slide is very busy. What are the advantages of a digital exhibition? A lot has been said about digitization. Uh, and I know that all these things are already well known and uh, this slide, uh, this slide uh, presentation will be available to you. But let me go back to the tool that has been developed. Why is it innovative? Um, first of all, it is a content management system for digital open source materials that is mainly based on uh, the very idea of having the opportunity to create a conceptual map. And through this conceptual map, you can uh, connect different types of uh, contents uh, but uh, SMCMS includes a set of uh, tools, uh, storytelling, uh, um, timeline, um, map management, photo gallery, image hotspot, Google map management, etc. As you can read, and through the integration of all these various tools, a curator can therefore create um, digital exhibitions in a quite uh, a user-friendly way, thanks to a uh, tutorial that are made available uh, and, or through a very short four-hour long training course. Everyone can be become able to organize on one's own, one's digital exhibition. Within the framework of Athena Plus framework, the important thing, interesting thing, is that through partners, features have all been enhanced all together, rather than waiting for the company to come up with something. And so the final result uh, was uh, resulted from everyone's contribution who wished to enhance uh, what they expected in terms of final output. If we can therefore manage different types of languages, multilingualism of contents, uh, CMS, uh, te graphical templates, um, and we do have the various tools that have already been mentioned. Without entering into the details of it, just a few examples of our um, partners who organize a few creative uh, digital exhibitions. And that's quite interesting because uh, these various digital ex exhibitions have been uh, organized in various types of languages. And so thanks to our partners, we have um, seven language archive available, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. This is the timeline, maps, and the possibility to have hotspots to take a few pictures and uh, uh, include uh, comments and links and clouds and games uh, uh, within the exhibition and so on and so forth. And so this is the back end, uh, which shows uh, how simple and user-friendly it is. Another important thing to be said, since uh, we are part of Europeana ecosystem, we also um, introduced the uh, Europeana API. Starting from that object uh, data sheet, we can uh, link it with other types of objects within Europeana network, and just in case we 
wanted to come up with data sheets for uh, a certain type of audience that wants to know more about it or, or uh, would like to know more about the history or a photo gallery and so on and so forth. As far as this tool is concerned, at the entrance you can find a few brochures that are available to you if you wish. A second tool is the so-called culture map that has been developed by the Slovenian partner to show the use and reuse of Europeana. Within Europeana framework you can find a few millions contents, um, digital contents that are not put on a map. This um, culture map is intended to take Europeana digital contents. They will be georeferenced -ref on a map, geographically referenced on a map. Um, we had three million contents and we didn't know what to do about it, but the further step um, that has been implemented by IP CHS from Slovenia to make sure that through this culture map, e-culture map, you can uh, display cultural objects, uh, geolocate them, uh, plan a cultural itinerary or upload one's own content. Of course, I, I cannot enter into the very details of such an application, but you should also know that a few case studies and pilots have been developed together with the Rome Central Library that had organized an exhibition of Van Vittel paintings that showed a few views in Rome preserved in various museums and the true real exhibition was organized and then afterwards these contents were used uh, for uh, through the e-culture map app and uh, they would uh, really find the true um, locations of the views that would be seen in these uh, uh, fun vital paintings. This is uh, another example of a um, link uh, with the street view. As far as school trip app is concerned, it's a tool uh, developed by Packet the Belgian partner, to plan school trips. It's very interesting. It's a, a true creative and co-creation moment, and it is a sort of networking between teachers and students. The teacher coordinates, creates groups, teams, count ai singoli studenti e gli dà dei compiti, per esempio a uno gli dice with accounts and tasks to the individual students, okay, please find the museums to be visited, another one will have the task. Uh, tell us about the various types of uh, uh, means of transport that we have to take, another one will have another task, for example, find pubs and uh, night uh, uh, discos and other in entertainment and leisure activities, and then together with the teacher, everything will be put together, and uh, they will generate a PDF that will uh, become the true trip guide for students before they uh, leave on uh, for their trip, for their on their school trip. So Europeana resources can be used in addition to others, and this makes the trip successful and so that the trip will last longer even after uh, it's over. We have tried it out, it does work, it's very easy. We are in contact with an Italian association um, so that we can uh, um, introduce a few pilot projects in other Italian schools as well. Quest è sempre Packed l'ha realizzata e CityQuest è, un, è uno strumento per realizzare CityQuest is a tool to create a treasury searches, a treasure, uh, treasury searches, a quest. It is an online quest. So a few uh, spots are identified that are the various uh, points of interest of this uh, city quest. Then uh, clues are given so that pupils 
uh, are entertained and it is very nice for uh, 7 to 11 year old uh, pupils once clues are given that become uh, increasingly easier pupils are then uh, um, allowed to get to the end so that the whole quest is completed and once the quest is over the app also tells you how long it took and uh, how many clues have been used to get to the very end and so on and so forth. It is a game uh, which is uh, really appreciated by children. We Italian partners, we organize two true city quests, real ones, within the project with the true users that we didn't know. So they have been uh, found through internet, Facebook and so on. And uh, these uh, city quests have been organized in uh, Parco della Caffarella in Rome, um, close to Appia Antica with the natural um, landscape and archeological um, and other cultural assets to be visited. And children have been involved with their teachers uh, this park is very big. They received um, a paper um, park map. They've been involved in this game. They really loved it because at the end of the game, we asked them, we first of all asked them, did you have fun? And they said all together, yeah, yes. And then we asked them whether they learned something. Again, they said yes. And thirdly, we asked them whether they found uh, it easy to use this app. And they said again, yes. And fourthly, uh, were they able to redo the itinerary to get, uh, alone, whether they had learned something about the uh, garden map, and they all said yes, apart from one person whose uh, sense of orientation maybe was not that good. And then we asked them how, uh, what their feedback was, how to improve the tool. They were between 7 and 11 years old. That was very interesting because one, a couple of pupils said, well, you see, as for the descriptions of the hotspots that are textual ones now, they should also be available as a sound app, whereas uh, uh, teachers wanted uh, children to have uh, text because uh, children are not very good at reading yet. Another interesting thing said by one of the girls said, well, we had fun, but you see, we need a prize, a true prize. Uh, what about the treasury? So it was not enough to say, okay, you are the winner uh, because uh, it, you were the best team because uh, you were the quickest one. So at least a candy, a biscuit would have been enough. A uh, true, concrete, real prize uh, in a war they, they were expecting, uh, given also the age of these uh, uh, people. Okay, um, two more minutes. And the last uh, app is Urban Explore. It is uh, um, a tool for the creation of digital tourist cultural tours uh, through storytelling developed by France uh, with uh, the use of uh, sophisticated technologies including uh, virtual reality. This is uh, absolutely interesting tool. It is groundbreaking. But um, the difference about it is that uh, it is the only open source tool that integrates as well, uh, proprietary tools as well, and de facto uh, it, it, it is less user friendly as against a city quest school trip and a movio that are uh, free, that are uh, free for all, that are for free and are uh, you, uh, easily usable, whereas um, the two Belgian ones have just been completed, but we don't have a big feedback. But as far as Movio is concerned, uh, we are really very happy about it. We have so many uh, demands. Uh, they really sell like hot buns. And uh, we are very proud and happy with the final result because uh, it is uh, uh, um, an Italian project at the very beginning and a European project at its end have really come up with a deliverable. So we really uh, uh, think of developing a cloud-based service, something that doesn't exist yet, but we really hope and wish well for the future. And all the information can be found on the wiki.athenaplus.eu. 
and uh, for the Italians you can also have www.movio.beneculturale.it this is the wiki and these are all our contacts thank you